The Lockheed Jetstar is a business jet produced from the early 1960s to the 1970s. The Jetstar was the first dedicated business jet to enter service. It was also one of the largest aircraft in the class for many years, seating 10 plus 2 crew. It is distinguishable from other small jets by its four engines, mounted on the rear of the fuselage in a similar layout to the larger Vickers VC-10 airliner that first flew several years later, and the slipper-style fuel tanks fixed to the wings. Development the Jetstar originated as a private project within Lockheed, with an eye to winning a USAF requirement that was later dropped due to budget cuts. Lockheed decided to continue the project on their own for the business market. The first two prototypes were equipped with two Bristol Sidley Orpheus engines, the first of these flying on September 4, 1957. The second of these was also equipped with a wing mounted slipper tanks, which was originally to be an option. Lockheed attempted to arrange a contract to produce the Orpheus in the U.S., but when these negotiations failed they re-engined the second prototype, N329K, with four Pratt and Whitney JT-12 in 1959. The slipper tanks were removed and placed on the first prototype, N329J. N329J served as Clarence Johnson's personal transport for some time. The JT-12 fit proved successful and was selected for the production versions, the first of which flew in mid-1960. These versions entered commercial service in 1961. Sixteen jet stars were produced for the United States Air Force. Five C-140A were flight inspection aircraft for the Air Force Communications Service and were used to perform airborne testing of airport navigational aids from 1962 onwards. They began service during the Vietnam War and remained in service until the early 1990s. The Flycheck C-140A were a combat-coded aircraft that could be distinguished from the VIP transport version by their distinctive camouflage paint scheme. The last C-140A to be retired was placed on static display at Scott AFB, Illinois. An additional 11 airframes were designated C-140B although the first of these predated the C-140 as when it was delivered in 1961. The C-140BS were used to transport personnel by the Military Airlift Command. Six of the aircraft were operated as VIP transports by the 89th Military Airlift Wing at Andrews Air Force Base. These VIP aircraft were designated as VC-140BS. The VIP transport fleet occasionally served as Air Force One during the 1970s and 1980s. Several other countries, such as Germany and Canada, have used military jet stars as transports for their heads of state, heads of government, and other VIPs. Noise regulations in the United States and high fuel consumption led to the development of the 731 Jet Star, a modification program which added new Garrett I research TFE 731 turbofan engines and redesigned external fuel tanks to original Jet Stars. The 731 Jet Star modification program was so successful that Lockheed produced 40 new Jet Stars, designated the Jet Star II from 1976 through 1979. The Jetstar IIs were factory new aircraft with the turbofan engines and revised external fuel tanks. Both 731 Jetstars and Jetstar IIs have greatly increased range, reduced noise, and better runway performance compared to the original Jetstars. Jetstar production totaled 204 aircraft by final delivery in 1978. Most original jet stars have been retired, but many 731 jet stars and jet star IIs are still flying in various roles, mainly as corporate and private jets. Design The jet star has a fairly typical business jet design layout, with a swept wing and a cruciform tail. The wing has a 30 degree sweep back and features large fuel tanks at about half span, extending some distance in front and behind the wing. The wings hold 10,000 pounds of fuel, and each slipper tank holds 4,000 pounds of fuel for a total fuel load of 18,000 pounds. The wing also includes leading edge flaps along the front of the wing outboard of the tanks, while double slotted trailing edge flaps span the entire rear surface in board of the ailerons. The wing incorporates inflatable rubber dacing boots for the removal of accumulated in-flight ice. 
the horizontal stabilizers are mounted nearly halfway up the tail fin to keep it clear of the jet wash. One feature is that trim is provided by pivoting the entire tail fin, which has a distinctive unpainted area at the base of the fin that is noticeable in most pictures. The Jetstar does not have any tail dicing capability, nor was it required for certification. A speed brake is located on the underside of the fuselage to aid deceleration for landing. The original prototypes used a tricycle landing gear with one wheel per leg, but after an accident in 1962 the nose gear was modified with two tires. The Jetstar is a relatively heavy aircraft for its class, at 42,500 lb. Maximum cruising speed is Maca 0.8 or 567 mph at 21,000 AFT. Range is typically quoted as 2,500 ME with a 3,500 LB payload. Typically, interiors feature seating for 8 with a full-sized lavatory, or a slightly denser arrangement for 10. The Jetstar is one of the few aircraft of its class which allow a person to walk upright in the cabin, although to do this the aisle is sunk slightly so that the seats are raised on either side. The windows are relatively large. The Jetstar 2 is generally similar, with a number of detail changes. The cockpit area has a somewhat more modern-looking nose and window arrangement, larger engines, and most notably, the fuel tanks are larger and sit with their upper surfaces flush with the wing, rather than being centered on it. Variants, Jetstar I, Business, Executive Transport Aircraft, with accommodation for a crew of 2 and 10 passengers, Powered by four 3,300 a pound force thrust Pratt and Whitney JT 12A8 turbojet engines. Jetstar 2, new production version, powered by four 3,700 a pound force thrust Garrett TFE 731 3 turbofan engines, and fitted with revised external fuel tanks, 40 built. Jetstar 731, modified version. Fitted with four Garrett TFE 731 1 turbofan engines, and equipped with redesigned external fuel tanks. C 140A, flight inspection aircraft for the U.S. Air Force, similar to the Jetstar I, 5 built. C 140B, passenger, cargo transport aircraft for the U.S. Air Force, similar to the C 140A, 5 built. VC 140B, VIP transport aircraft for the U.S. Air Force, similar to the C-140B, 6 built. C-140C, two Jetstar 6s were ordered by the United States Navy, originally designated UV-1, but not delivered. T-40, U.S. military designation for a proposed trainer version of the C-140 for evaluation, not built. AAI Fan Star, Conversion by American Aviation Industries with two General Electric CF-34 engines in place of the four JT-12 turbojets or TFE-731 turbofans which first flew on September 5, 1986. Only one aircraft was converted. Operators, former civil operators, of Canada, Department of Transport, and Iraq, Iraqi Airways, and Mexico, TAESA, and United States, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Federal Aviation Administration, current military operators, Iran, Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force, and Mexico, Mexican Air Force, former military operators, a Germany, Luftwaffe, a Indonesia, a Iraq, a Kuwait, a Libya, a United States, United States Air Force, a Saudi Arabia, Royal Saudi Air Force, accidents and incidents. On January 5, 1995 an Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force Jetstar crashed during an emergency landing, killing all 12 on board including General Mansour Satari, commander of the IRIAF, aircraft on display. A Jetstar owned by Elvis Presley in his later years, named Hound Dog 2, is on display at Grasseland. President Lyndon Johnson's Jetstar is on display in his Texas ranch. The Museum of Aviation next to Robbins Air Force Base has a VC-140B in its collection. The Athens Scuba Park in Athens, Texas has a sunken C-140 for exploration by scuba divers. The Canada Aviation and Space Museum in Ottawa, has a Lockheed L-1329 Jetstar 6 that the Department of Transport used to carry government officials and foreign dignitaries. 
the Jimmy Doolittle Air and Space Museum, Travis Air Force Base, Fairfield, California, has a VC-140 on display, the Hill Aerospace Museum, Hill Air Force Base, Ogden, Utah has a VC-140B on display with a fully restored interior and a fully painted exterior. This exact model was confirmed by former members of the 89th SAM from Andrews Air Force Base to have carried President Johnson and his wife, Lady Bird. On pile on display near base operations and the AMC Air Terminal at Andrews AFB, Maryland. Adjacent to headquarters, Air Mobility Command, at Scott AFB, Illinois. In the collection of the Pima Air and Space Museum, adjacent to Davis Monthan AFB in Tucson, Arizona. In the Presidential Aircraft Collection of the National Museum of the United States Air Force, Wright Patterson AFB, Ohio. The Durgan Tara Mandala Museum in Yogyakarta, that place near Addis Usipto International Airport, also have one ex Indonesian Air Force VVIP Squadron C 140 Jetstar on display hangar. Original nose name is Saptamaga, but now has changed to Pankasila. The entire front of a Jetstar II back to the cockpit bulkhead is on exhibit at the Talis Science Museum. In the pediatrics wing of the Spanish Hospital in Mexico City, Mexico, there is a complete jet star on display inside the museum, the Greater Street Louis Air and Space Museum at St. Louis Downtown Airport in Cahokia, Illinois has a jet star on display outside the museum that was once owned by Howard Hughes. Other, the jet star was made famous in 1964, being featured in the James Bond film Goldfinger, its name Lockheed Jet Star being stated in the script to Sean Connery by pilot Honor Blackman. The jet star appears in the 1968 film The Hellfighters starring John Wayne as his company jet. Specifications Data from Lockheed Aircraft since 1913 General characteristics, crew, two pilots and typically one flight attendant, capacity, 8 to 10 passengers, length, 60 feet 5 inches, wingspan, 54 feet 5 in, height, 20 feet 5 in, wing area. 542.5 FTA squared, empty weight, 24,750 pounds, loaded weight, 41,535 pounds, max takeoff weight, 44,500 pounds, power plant, 4A, Garrett TFE 731-3 turbofan, 3,700 pound forces each, performance, maximum speed, 547 miles per hour at 30,000 feet, Cruise speed, 504 miles per hour. Range, 2,995 miles. Service ceiling, 43,000 feet. Rate of climb, 4,150 feet per minute. See also, aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era. British Aerospace Banner 125, Gulfstream 3, Learjet 25, McDonnell 119, T-39 Sable Liner, References. Notes Bibliography <laughs>